Hello, I'm Vitalt. Welcome you all to the short lab coding. Often when you are programming, you are facing a different problems or issues that might be solved in the different um, implementations. Those implementations might differ slightly or be completely different and still working fine. If you would like to pick the fastest one, you need to perform the timed-based benchmark and I would like to show you during this video how to use PyTest Benchmark to achieve that. In advance, before this video, I have prepared three different implementations that solves the same issue. So, calculation of the factorial. First option is using the for loop. Second option is utilizing the built-in factorial routine from the math built-in library. And the third option is the recursive call to the factorial calculation. That might be the most common example of such function over internet. Uh, there are two requirements to run those tests. First is PyTest and the second is PyTest benchmark. Okay, let's navigate to the benchmark uh, file. Mm, and we need to implement the benchmark routine, benchmark function. Now let's call it my benchmark. Benchmark. I would like to pass as the input the um, option. So I would like to pass the routine for option one, for option two, and for option three. So let's call it option. Each single call to the benchmark should uh, involve more than a single multiplication just to make sure that we are not um, verifying the test with nanoseconds only that shows nothing. So I would create the, uh, I don't know how to call it. Mm. Okay, let's, let's call it products as we are multiplying something. Uh, so I would like to prepare the inputs. So I would like to iterate over i in, or i in range, let's say from one to thousand. And for each of those product, I would like to call our function of under test. So all function under test here uh, the function under test is option here and option of product okay mm. and now uh, i would like to define the pytest standard named function so test option one for option one um and it's ben, uh, benchmark first is my benchmark and the second op parameter is option uh, option 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 i need to import those functions so from option one import option uh, import als factorial as option one from option two import uh, cuts factorial as option two from option three import um, as option three okay so i would like to call my benchmark function with option one and i would like to create uh, each test for each option. So let's go with two and three, two and three. And now uh, we can, I think that we can trigger those benchmark and see what happens. So let's run with Python 3.9-m pytest benchmark pyy, which indicates our file and as you can see there are three 
um, option here in the results with the time here is given in the microseconds uh, the fastest option here is the option free which is interesting Mm, we have the minimum time of exec execution, maximum time of execution, uh, operation per seconds, and other information that might be useful. And but but to be honest, uh, we missed one important thing here, because I, I do not think that the option with recursive calls should be the fastest one. I believe the standard library implementation in C should be faster than that. So, um, so okay, we are testing the um, how fast the algorithm is, but we do not verify that the algorithm works as expected. Okay, so our test is useless in in other <laughs> in other words. Okay, so we need to verify the output in the test. So. I would download, uh, so from uh, expected PI, I would uh, import the expected array for the factorial calculation. So from expected import load expected, I would like to have expected data equal to load expected. Load expected loads simply the, file, the data from the file. In the file, I have the results from the for the calculation of factorial. Okay, uh, so I have expected. So after calling the function under test, I need to grab the result, and I should assert this result with the expected data. So I would expect that result is equal to expected data of given input. Okay, let's run it once again. Okay, so as you can see, we have the two timed benchmark options here. Option two, which is standard library, and option one, which is for loop. And option three is not available here because we have assertion error. Okay, so let's go back to our implementation of option three. Uh, intentionally, I put the different sign here because we need to compare if it's equal to one, not not equal to one, just to show you that checking the results in test is always important, even if you are just testing the the speed of the algorithm. If it works uh, incorrectly, the speed does not matter at all. Okay, let's run it once again. Um, it's st still not working because the maximum recursion depth exceeds in our comparison. Okay, um, okay, Let, let's increase the the allow dipped um, so import says, says set recursion limit and set it to 10,000 I think it should be fine for 10,000 of factorial mm. so let's run it once again okay and now we have three tests that pass so that means that we can start comparing those algorithms at all of those algorithm works. Okay, so the fastest is option two with the minimum time. And option three is um, almost two times slower than option one. So those information gives us some, some kind of input. We can run those uh, with histogram that um, present this in uh, the more graphical friendly um, way. So it creates the SVG file that we can open using the 
Chrome browser, for example. Uh, okay, I need to share this somehow with you. Mm, okay, Chrome. And as you can see here, we have those three options here. And this graphical representation easily shows that the option two is way faster than those implementation with for loop and implementation with recursive calls. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye bye.